I am spending the next week reading some new and recent releases, so really anything published from fall of last year through now. I really like to stay on top of new releases, and I have tons of audiobooks checked out from the library at the moment. So for this week of Ramathon, I'm going to be doing another week of reading these anticipated books. Last week I was like, oh, here's these 15 books that I'll probably read because I'm in such a reading mood. This week I'm not committing to really anything because I think I jinxed myself. I am for sure going to be reading Bride by Allie Hazelwood. I need to finish this. I'm currently 75% in. I started with the audiobook, it returned, and someone very kindly has let me listen to their copy, so I'm going to be able to finish this one. And I'm also 20 pages into The Night It Ended by Katie Garner. This is a thriller that has a building on the cover and has a school setting, which are both bonus prompts for my team slash for all of Ramathon, the school setting one works for everybody. Bride is a black cover. I haven't really been picking books based on prompts, but everything that I have read so far has fit for a bonus prompt, I believe. Well, maybe not one. I don't know. So I'm hoping to continue that. I'm really just going to be reading books that I want to read this week. I don't generally just like let myself read whatever. And maybe that was the problem with me last week because the only books I read, I had the book to at Libby, I had to read for a book club or I had to read for a buddy read. I'm really not good without a schedule, but it's already the end of the day on Friday. I spent the day editing and getting ready for the fact that I'm going to be out of town this weekend. I am going to my sister's bachelorette party and it's three and a half hours away, so I'm going to be making the drive in the morning. It is midnight, so I am going to go to bed and I think listen to a little bit more of Bride before then. I will be able to finish this on my drive tomorrow and I'm probably going to stop for food because I'm hungry all the time. So I'll give you my final update on that and I'll be able to get further into the night it ended. I don't have high hopes for my reading this weekend. I am reading The Resort. I got an arc of this and I've been reading it before bed so I plan on reading that this week and I should probably be able to finish that. So that's really the only thing I plan on reading this weekend besides when I'm in the car. I'm not really going to record much of the bachelorette party but I know we're going to be going out to dinner and doing like a nice brunch and everything but I am determined to read a decent amount this week. Week. We'll see how that goes. I just got the most exciting package. Today is the day that the final Alice in Borderland comes out. Oh, it says final volume on the back. That makes me so sad, but I'm so excited to read this. I know it's going to destroy me. I cannot wait. This is going to be in my last Realmathon vlog. And it was what inspired the vlog happening. Oh my gosh, I'm not prepared, but I am so excited to finally have this in my hands. Good morning, friends. I have um, come to the realization that weekly vlogging is not for me. I like it in theory, and I think doing a week of it at a time every once in a while is something that I enjoy and feels like a nice, not break, but like, a little reset from the videos I typically do, like the more themed videos, but I don't like being on camera every day. I just don't always have the energy for it. I don't always have things to say. I get hyper fixated on other things and forget and then I feel guilty. If I don't read, I feel bad. And I am somebody that reads like for an entire day straight and then doesn't read for two days. That's how my brain has been working. That's how I get videos done. Like I typically only take a week to do a three book video anyway, but it just feels so different in my brain. And I just, I am really <laughs> not loving the weekly style thing, which does make me 
kind of reconsider my plans for some other things coming up in the future. Yesterday was a big, big day planning for Escape the Readathon. The bookmarks are almost done and I'm obsessed with them, so I want to be able to finish that today. So I don't expect to read like a ridiculous amount in the rest of this video. Not that I've read really anything yet, and this is why I like themed vlogs because I feel bad that I haven't been reading a lot. I was on the bachelorette party, like I was gone for the whole weekend. Um, and then in the car on the way there, my sister decided to call me and talk to me for two hours. And then on the way back, I ended up listening to the final four Taylor Swift albums that I needed to listen to. So I have my ranking. Well, I didn't listen to the entire thing. I listened to the first verse and the chorus for pretty much all of the songs and then like added ones that I really like to a playlist. Anyway, I have finished Bride by Allie Hazelwood. I think I'm going to give this three to three and a half stars. I still haven't decided. I liked their relationship, but we didn't get enough of it. And then there's some like werewolf stuff that I'm not really into. <laughs> Specifically nodding. Um, some of it's not bad and then other stuff I'm like, I could not be with a werewolf. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> there was just too much of other stuff in this and I know in Check and Mate, her YA one that just came out, like that one has a lot of other stuff in it, but I guess I'm more interested in chess than werewolves. Our main character is a vampire, but we do get more of the werewolf stuff in here. I liked the writing and I liked the romance between these characters, but for some reason this one just didn't work as much for me. This is my least, well, if you exclude the novellas, this is my least favorite from her, but the novellas were definitely not my favorite. So during the bachelorette party in the car, well, it wasn't during it. It was when we were driving. I was by myself. Anyway, I got 10% into The Night It Ended by Katie Gardner and I'm going to DNF it. There's just something about the writing that I could not connect to. Oh, I forgot to tell you, if you don't know, this is a romance, paranormal romance about a vampire and a werewolf and they end up being in this like arranged marriage for a year and then there's like the politics between the werewolves and the vampires and the humans and her friend is also missing and she's trying to find her so that's this book this one is following a criminal psychiatrist and she has a reputation as an expert in female violence and then she goes to help investigate a mysterious death at a boarding school she was very recently almost destroyed by one but she can't turn away and then there's a private investigator and I just really didn't like the writing. In theory, the idea behind this, like the um, criminal psychiatrist who is doing the investigating, it seems interesting, but I couldn't connect with the writing so I just like couldn't focus on anything. So I didn't have this one 10% in. I have two books that I am reading currently. I have The Sight by Melanie Golding. This is a horror book and it is set at a carnival we are following people that work at a carnival and also Faith who can see when and how people will die. It first happens with like a family tragedy and she doesn't really know what's going on and then she learns to use it at the carnival. So I think I'm like 10% mm, into this one. I was planning on reading most of this yesterday when I was on Becca's Sprints, but then some man showed up at my house and needed to fix our solar panels and then I got sucked into working on the bookmarks for Escape. Um, I also am like 20% into the resort. I'm reading this on my Kindle before bed, but I just got the audiobook as well. So I'm hoping to be able to finish the site and the resort today and tomorrow. Actually, this vlog will probably go into Friday during the day. One, because I was not around a lot this week. Like I was just not home or able to read and two because I want to finish these books in this video because the next one is going to be my Peace Talks vlog. So within Realmathon there's a 48 hour readathon and it starts Friday night at 7 and goes till Sunday at 7. So that is going to have its own vlog and I'm going to be trying to like read as much as I can in that. But you have to start the books during Peace Talks. So I want to finish the two that I'm working on. I think that's everything that I haven't been able to tell you the past couple of days. I need to go to the library. This is actually due, so take a good look at the cover because I won't have it after this. I'm going to return these and pick up some books. I'll give you a haul on that when I get home. I'm also going to go to Duncan because I'm so tired today. Hey Bowser, do you want to go to Duncan? Do you want to go to the library? You want to go? I have my library haul for you. I had three books to pick up. 
So the first one is What Feasts at Night by T. Kingfisher. This is the sequel to What Moves the Dead. Ooh. I knew it had these cool endpapers. Apparently T. Kingfisher drew these. Honestly, I have not heard the best things about this one, but at least it's short. Why does this feel so thick? It is really thick paper. Anyway, I have this one. Another one that I got for an upcoming video is Theme Music by T. Marie Vandelli. I don't really know much about this, but I think it's supposed to be disturbing. It's a psychological thriller and I have really high hopes for this one. And the last one I got is Your Shadow Half Remains by Sunny Moraine. This is a horror novella and it is the pick for the Pyramid Book Club for April. We have sprints for this on Tuesday the 9th and then our discussion is on Saturday the 13th. It's pretty early in the month, but we generally do mid-month. And also it's so short and I'm not available for most of April. This is post-apocalyptic horror. So that is my little haul. I had to take the site back to the library. It was a little overdue and I was picking these up so I just took it in and I am going to DNF it. I made it 13% in and I don't really... Okay, I don't want to say that all books by British authors are not for me, but generally I have found that if I'm not enjoying a book by a British author, like immediately, I'm not going to continue enjoying it. This book has a very, very low average rating saying it's boring and I'm feeling bored. The concept is so cool but I'm just really struggling with it so I'm not going to continue which is very upsetting because the synopsis sounds so good but I'm just not feeling like pushing through books that I'm not enjoying and it's not that I'm disliking it but I'm not invested at all so I'm gonna DNF that. So that's my second DNF. I am feeling the burnout so badly this week like it's terrible and also my whole week has been taken over by escape the readathon stuff for may all of the stuff that is going to take like huge amounts of focus is done it's stuff that needed time to like get stuff approved and all of this and like it would take time to get to me but other than that things for that are looking so good i think it's gonna be so much fun really excited about that so that's my library haul dnfing the site i am like 10 percent into the resort by sarah something it starts with an o i think i've been reading this on my kindle before bed and i'm prioritizing this now i have the audiobook so i'm going to read it today so far i'm really enjoying it it is set in thailand i believe at this resort we're following two different characters cass which is funny because cassidy is running this readathon and then i don't remember the other girl's name brooke she is a travel influencer. So we're following both of them. And I think somebody is going to turn up dead. Cass, we know, has some sort of secret. We don't know what it is. Something to do with her past. And she is a dive instructor at this resort. And then Brooke is visiting because of her, like, influencer thing. So once I'm further into that, I will check in. But I'm enjoying this one. I can actually see myself finishing this book. Okay, Nova. So I am roughly a third into the resort and I'm still really liking this one. So we are getting more into this like murder mystery thing. So Cass, who is the dive instructor at the very beginning, gets a note that alludes to somebody knowing what has happened in her past. She's clearly running from something. She might be going under a different name, but we know for sure that something has happened to her and she doesn't want anyone to know about it. And then Lucy, who is one of her dive students, is the one that ends up dying. And then someone else gets injured. That's all in the synopsis. And then Brooke, the influencer, is investigating. And we don't know really why she is so into investigating, but it seems like she has done this in the past. And that, like, influencing is, like, a cover a little bit to do some investigating for things. And then when Brooke is investigating stuff, we find out something right where I ended that puts suspicion on certain people. And then there's been like other moments where things have happened to make other characters seem suspicious as well. I'm having a good time with this. I think it is an entertaining read. It's keeping my attention. Nothing feels like the most groundbreaking situation, but I'm really enjoying it. I'm so tired. I had to wake up 
early because I thought I was gonna have to do something in the morning and that ended up not happening until later in the day so I'm just like really really exhausted and I might try to take a quick nap to get some energy because as much as I am enjoying this book it's not exciting enough to keep me awake not that it's putting me to sleep long story short I'm gonna take a nap and then I'm gonna read more hey Bowser do you want to go to Taco Bell Oh, okay. Hello. If you keep up with Realmathon, we are in Peace Talks, and I am just reading this book past when I was planning on it. If you're not, yeah, this is just another update for you. I am two-thirds into the resort, and I am liking this. I think there's been some fun reveals that have happened. I feel like it's going to be four stars. It's a fun time. It's keeping my attention, but it's really not feeling like anything like unique that would make me like super, super invested in the story. I think there's just enough like intrigue with what has been going on in the past, and we're like finding things out in a way that I think is not too quick, but not that we don't get anything and it's annoying. So I think it's done really well. I am interested to see how this wraps up because right now, now we are very much led to believe a certain thing and I'm curious if that is going to be the thing. I feel like not but you never know with <laughs> thrillers. I really am having a good time with it. I only have an hour and 10 minutes left of the audiobook so I will be able to finish it today and I'm really excited about that. I'm not sure if this is this author's first book. I've never heard of this author before but I think I would read more from them in the future. I'll have to see if there's any previous books, but it's been a very easy read. It's compelling and I'm enjoying it. I would like to interrupt myself with important information from the future. Anyway, I have been told that the team that has attacked Shadows the least is time. Do with that what you will, but that was top secret information given to me by, what does she call herself? She's, is she calling herself the high priestess in this? I don't know headmaster. I don't know. Cassidy's in charge. Whatever you want to call her, she, she told me to tell you. So the last third of the resort personally felt like a train wreck to me. I was thinking that this was going to be four stars and I'm kind of debating between one and a half and two stars at the moment. I have so many issues with this book. Every single reveal I hated. The character motivation for one of the main characters pissed me off. There's a reveal about one of the other characters which like uh there's something in the epilogue about something else that like I hated. There's a point where one of the local people is framed and it's a bunch of people that don't actually live in Thailand that are on this resort. They're blaming a local person. I also have issues with the end being so monologue-y. Like there's two instances where they're just like word vomiting all of the stuff that happened and I was just like this is not it's not how I want this to be done not that I like anything that's happening but I'm just oh my god oh my god <sighs> okay I'm not gonna go into details but spoilers are about to happen the one backstory deals with sexual assault actually two of them do there are two instances where I don't like how sexual assault was handled obviously like not like it's not good but the one main character blamed the other woman that was in the house for what happened to her instead of going after the guy and then there's another instance where someone was accused of this and then she retracts her statement because she was pissed off at him and just like made it up the one woman who was in the only sort of like LGBTQ plus relationship was in a student teacher like very power imbalance and like pretty much forced her to go on this trip to be together and then at the end the girl was like oh yeah I forgive her I still kind of love her like that's grooming they were just like accepted they weren't things that were like being discussed I, I did not like this I would not recommend it I think that there are multiple things that I find not okay in this book. I won't be reading from this author anymore. I'm really sad because I was having a good time with it up until 65% and then it just went downhill with every reveal. So this week I had a three star with Bride, two DNFs, 
I'm like a one and a half star. That's it, moving on. Okay, well, uh, yeah, this went great. This was my last weekly vlog for Realmathon. There will be more Realmathon videos coming, but they're not gonna be in this style. I don't really think I like weekly vlogging, at least not at this point. I might try it again in the future, but I do not feel like doing another week of it right now. So sorry that I feel like nothing went well in this video other than me getting Alice in Borderland Volume 9. I am already working on my next couple videos and they are already going significantly better than this one, so. This has not affected my reading mojo. I'm actually like reading a lot more now that I <laughs> have broken free of this weekly vlogging experience. On that note, let's talk about something positive. If you have made it to the end and want to leave me an emoji, you can leave me any sort of animal. And if you have pets, I would love to know what kind of animal they are and what their name is. All information for Realmathon is in the description. It is not too late to join. You can backlog your books for the first part of the month. If you want to see some Realmathon videos that went better than this one, you can check out either of these and I will see you soon. Bye.